So in this lesson, we're going to talk all about scientific notation. A number is written in scientific notation when it is represented as the product of a factor and a power of 10. The factor must be greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 0. So that might be a little confusing, but all that means is we are just going to rewrite any number um, in scientific notation as just a number in between 1 and 10. It can be 1, it cannot be 10, and then times 10 to any power. So another way to think of this number, um, the factor, what they're calling it here, it has to be a one-digit number before the decimal. Okay, So this 8.3 would work, 2.7 would work, 1.0 would work, but um, 10 would not work, or 11.3 would not work, because those are not less than 10. So anyway, that is uh, the basic idea of scientific notation. All right, so writing numbers in scientific notation. Move the decimal point so it is located to the right of the leading non-zero digit. The number of places you moved the decimal point indicates the exponent of the power of 10 as shown below. So if the number is greater than or equal to 10, and I like to call these really big numbers, we use a positive exponent when you move the decimal point to the left. So here, we have for 8,600, they move the decimal place, which would be right here, move it one, two, three spots, and now the new number is 8.6. That is in between the uh, one and 10 range that we were looking for. So that would be our factor. And since I moved it over three times, that's like I have to multiply this 8.6 by three tens, or 10 to the third power. Now, numbers between zero and one, which I would call really, really small numbers, we would use a negative exponent when we move the decimal point to the right. So we see that we have a really small number, 0 0.0024, and that's in between 0 and 1. And we want to move the decimal point so we get that, um, that number in between 1 and 10. So we move it three times to the right, so it would be 2.4. And since this is a really small number, uh, we would put 10 to the negative third power. So that's how we write numbers in scientific notation. All right, so we're gonna work on the first two examples here. Write 173 million in scientific notation. Well, the first step is, and I'm gonna actually write this again. First thing we're gonna do is locate where the decimal is. If there's no decimal written, remember it's always written next to your last digit. And then we wanna figure out how many times I need to move it so I have a number in between one and 10, or just one digit before the decimal. So I'm gonna move this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight times. So now this would be 1.73. So I can rewrite this as 1.73. And then all I have to do is write times 10. And let's count how many um, bumps we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that means that we're gonna put eight here. And the reason it is positive eight, because this is a really big number. If, it, if this was a really small number, we would put negative eight. So, but since this is really big, it's positive eight. And another way you can think of that is, since we move the decimal to the left, it is a positive exponent. So this is our answer in scientific notation. Now, for part B, we have 0 0.0000032. So I'm just gonna quickly rewrite that. So now what I'm going to do is move the decimal to get um, a non-zero digit. That Remember that number in between 1 and 10. So what I'm going to do is move the decimal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now I have 3.2. 3.2 is in between 1 and 10. So I'm going to rewrite this. 3.2. And then it's always times 10 to a power, so times 10. And then let's just recount this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So since this is a really small number, this means that I'm gonna write a negative exponent. So this is gonna to be to the negative sixth power. And if you evaluated 10 to the negative sixth power, then multiplied that by 3.2, you would get this exact same number. So this is just a different way of writing things. And um, it's called scientific notation because in a lot of fields of science, you use numbers in scientific notation to compare their size. So this is our final answer here. All right, now we're going to do the uh, reverse thing. 
we're going to have numbers in scientific notation, and then we're going to use that to write it in standard form. So, writing numbers in standard form. The absolute value of the exponent indicates how many places to move the decimal point. If the exponent is negative, move the decimal point to the left. If the exponent is positive, move the decimal point to the right. So once again, this goes with our um, identification of is the number really big or is the number really small? So we're gonna do some examples uh, to practice that. So for part A, it says write 3.22 times 10 to the negative fourth power in standard form. So I'm gonna write that down. 3.22 times 10 to the negative fourth power. So the first thing we wanna ask ourselves, is this number really big or is it really small? Well, we have a negative exponent, which means it's gonna be really small. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rewrite 3.22 and in order to make this smaller, I need to move the decimal point to the left. How many spaces? Four. So I'll go one, two, three, and four. So that's where my new decimal point is. And what do I put here? I put zeros for placeholders. Zero, zero, zero. And then I'll put a zero to the left of my decimal. And now this is a mess, so I'm gonna rewrite this in standard form, which is gonna be 0.000. .000 three, two, two. So this is the answer to part A written in standard form. Part B, we have 7.9 times 10 to the fifth power. So we wanna ask ourselves, is this number really big or is it really small? And since we have a positive exponent here, we know it's gonna be really big. So I'm gonna rewrite my decimal, 7.9 and in order to make 7.9 larger, I would move the decimal to the right. How many spaces? Five spaces. So one, two, three, four, five. Once again, fill in the empty bubbles with zeros and then rewrite our number. So this is seven, nine, zero, 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 zero. And I'll put my comma here and we get 790,000. So that is what 7.9 times 10 to the fifth power is written in standard form. And we're done. So the problem says, a dog has 100 female fleas. What is the total amount of blood consumed by the fleas each day? Express your answer using more appropriate units. So a female flea consumes about 1.4 times 10 to the negative fifth liter of blood each day. So we're gonna use this information right here and there's multiple ways to do this, but the first thing that I would like to do is I'm gonna rewrite this number in standard form, and then we can multiply it by 100. So 1.4 times 10 to the negative fifth. This is a really small number because we have a negative exponent. So that means I'm gonna rewrite 1.4 and move the decimal over five times. And I'm actually gonna write it 1.4 over here because I'm gonna move the decimal to the left because this is a really small number. So one, two, three, four, five. There's my new decimal, fill in zeros, and you can put a zero there on the flea. So when I rewrite this, I get 0 0.000014. Now I'm gonna multiply that by 100 because each female flea consumes 1.4 times 10 to the negative fifth liters of blood each day, but we have 100 of them. So I'm gonna just multiply by 100 so times 100, but if you remember, multiplying by 100 just moves the decimal two places to the right. So I'm actually gonna move the decimal back two places to the right. So this is gonna be 0 0.0014 liters of blood per day. Now, the question also says, it also asks us to use more appropriate units. So this, so first thing, we could write this in um, scientific notation, but I'm gonna leave it like this because we're told to write it with more appropriate units. And if you know um, what the metric prefixes are, a milli means 1,000 times smaller. So in order to convert liters into milliliters, I just need to um, multiply the amount of liters by 1,000. But multiplying by 1,000 is just moving the decimal three spaces to the right. But I'll just write that out. We know that there are 1,000 milliliters 
in one liter. Okay, so you can make a unit conversion table, you can multiply fractions, whatever way you want to convert your units. So we take 0 0.0014 liters, and I know one liter is equal to 1000 milliliters, and this is our final unit. And if we treat this like multiplying like, like fractions, um, the liters are going to cancel because they're on the top and bottom, and then we can ignore the one. So I can just do 0 0.0014 times 1000. Once again, that's just moving the decimal place three spaces to the right. So if I move this, I'll rewrite this. If I move this decimal, one, two, three spaces to the right, that means that we get 1.4 milliliters, and it's a word problem, so I'm gonna have a word answer, or at least a label, of blood per day. So we have our final answer and a more appropriate unit. So now we're done.